this video tutorial I will cover example of uh, bean post processor. Here I have defined the class uh, employee and here I have defined the class uh, fruit. Using bean post processor we can perform uh, some operations before initialization of the bean and after uh, initialization of the bean. Bean post processor interface has uh, two methods. The first one is uh, post process uh, before initialization method. This method will be called before uh, initialization of the bean. The second method is uh, post process after initialization method. This method will be called after initialization of the bean. Bean post processor is applicable for all the beans uh, which are defined in the string configuration file which means bean post processor methods will be executed for each bean which are defined in the string configuration file. Here I have defined the class uh, my bean post processor which implements uh, bean post processor and provide implementation of uh, post process uh, before initialization method and uh, post process uh, after initialization method. In spring configuration file, I have configured my bean post processor. So my bean post processor methods will be called for every bean which are defined in the spring configuration file. In this spring configuration file, there are two beans are defined, employee and fruit. So my bean post processor methods will be called for these two beans. Here I have defined a class app. Here I have created context object by reading a spring configuration file using getbean method of context object getting employee object from spring container and displaying the employee object. Same way getting fruit object from spring container and displaying the fruit object. If we run this program we will get this output. Here you can see bean post processor methods are called before installation of uh, employee bean and fruit bean and uh, after installation of uh, employee bean and uh, fruit bean.